The California Golden Bears caught the Texas Longhorns off guard as they struggled to find their identity in the second game of the season after an upset victory over the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. The Longhorns are 1-1 one and, one and they return home again today for a pivotal contest before entering Big 12 play. In today's matchup, we're going to be taking on the Rice Owls, also from the state of Texas. But there's not going to be any drama today. Obviously, the Longhorns, talent-wise, are just going to be too much for Rice. But it's still going to be pivotal for us to figure out who are we? Are we a running team? Are we a passing team? How are we going to mix all of these young freshmen and some sophomores in with a couple of seniors to fit well into a plan that brings us success this year while also preparing for the future. The top 25 does not have a spot for the Longhorns anymore after last week's loss. Standings aren't looking too pretty in the Big 12 either, but Charlie Strong, who's hard at work on the recruiting trail despite the loss and things are looking up, we're really narrowing in, honing in on some key recruits that we want to go after aggressively now moving in to the next quarter of the season for recruiting leading up to about the halfway point and then we're going to go after some three-star guys that we can kind of fill in behind these top tier recruits but in today's action once again there's no drama that i'm going to pretend like exists in this game but it is going to be worth your while i guarantee it there are some fantastic plays on offense some amazing top 10 type sports center highlights and you will not believe the punt return that finishes out this contest. It is something like I have never seen before or pulled off in my life of playing video games in any level, whether it's college or in Madden. It's something you got to see, so stick around to watch that. Steps up an E sack for a loss. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He so a pretty a fluky job. play to start things off. We actually had a punt on our first drive, but the punt lands on the back shoulder of the return man, falls into the end zone, and we jump on it for a touchdown. An easy seven points to start it off. Rice actually drives down the field pretty well, gets set up for a field goal, and misses it by about as much to the right as you could possibly miss without it actually leaving the stadium. So we take over. Warwick gets a nice pass. This dude has some incredible speed. As we've showcased in the previous episodes, you've seen this guy just flying all over the place, juking people like crazy. And a little hint to you, he's got something to do with this final punt return that I'm talking about coming up on the last play of the game. Jonathan Gray there with a nice touchdown with a little juke on the guy on the perimeter. 14 to nothing, Texas. But Rice right back at it, down in scoring position. And the positive end, a nice couple of moves, a broken tackle, and the Owls find the end zone. If you're paying close attention, you probably notice that Hurd is in at quarterback that I'd taken Tyrone Swoops out for this game at least to start and I do put him back in in the second half I wanted to try Hurd out to see if he would give us a little bit of a change in the passing game right there he makes a nice toss to you know who Ja'Cory Warwick but other than this pass and maybe a couple others he was just all over the place didn't have the interceptions but he actually didn't look as sharp as Swoops did in the past and as far as the running game goes their skills are similar enough that it didn't really justify, at least in my opinion, moving forward, leaving Hurd in at the starting spot. So I believe after this game, we're going to move into Big 12 play with Swoops as our starting quarterback. And there you see handing off once again to Gray. It's a four touchdown performance already, still in the second quarter. We may not be done here, and it's not even quite halftime. As you might have noticed by now, I love playing with the middle linebacker when I'm on defense. And Santos is a fun guy to play with. He seems to get by blocks pretty well, plays in space, and is a sound tackler. Just a solid guy. 
Going from a senior though, here's a freshman. Check out Chris Warren, the backup running back. This guy wants to start. Boom, plows a guy, plows another guy. He's got an escort, he's got a touchdown. 35 on the board. What a start to the third quarter. And it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game. You're gonna get blown out. You at least wanna go down swinging. Oh, a big hit by Santos. The defense stepping it up. Some great plays so far. Getting a little bit of pressure. And that's just too easy. You cannot. You cannot throw that in tight coverage. And cover two, especially with the corner just sitting on that. You might as well just turn around and toss the ball into the end zone. The unnecessary flip at the end there, that's probably going to draw you a penalty in real life, but we don't care. 42 points on the board. Swoops after getting benched in the first half, running the read option. Wanting to solidify that starting job. He says, don't take me out again. And this is what you get, a nice touchdown run. 52 now. Another handoff to Warren. Get off me with a stiff arm. What a huge run again. This guy is a beast. 59 on the board. Still four minutes left. We've got backups in by now. And it doesn't matter. We're crunching the quarterback. Still getting pressure. A nice sack. And about three minutes left to go here. Here's Warwick. Could this be the punt return we're talking about? Warwick fields at the 48, heading for the corner. And he shoved out of bounds. Oh, and the punter just gets a hand on him and knocks him out. No luck there. But if that wasn't it, ooh, this is the backup fullback. Looks like a tight end just plowing over, guys. Oh, here we go. Just a few seconds left. You guys got to check this out. Sit back and enjoy. Nice move. He's at midfield. Inside the third. And that's not Reggie Bush. That's Ja'Cory Warwick with the step back, the juke, the step around, and the touchdown. That has got to be one of the sickest punt returns I have ever seen. And no doubt that I've pulled off in my time ever playing any video game, whether it's Madden, whether it's NCAA, that was just insane. And what an amazing way to round off and close out this game. A huge victory for Texas, 73 to seven. I think we found our identity heading into conference play. We've got recruits wanting to visit. We're taking on Kansas State. Things are looking up. Thanks for joining me guys. I can't wait to see you in the next episode.